Hello everyone, welcome back to Womite Kitchen. So in today's video, we will be preparing this Efori roll, which was requested by one of my subscribers. And I'm so excited to share the recipe. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I will be using some fish stock and I'll be soaking this overnight because I want it very soft. Okay, you can cook it with the meat if you want. Some beef, some tripe, and some cow skin. For the fish, of course, the stockfish, which I already soak, and some mackerel. I'll be cooking the meat all together. Add some onions, add some garlic and ginger, add some seasoning, and I will not be adding water now. I'm gonna wait for like 10 minutes before adding water. It's just my own preference, okay? Sometimes. <laughs> So now, I'm going to add some water. And I'll be cooking this meat for about 45 minutes to 1 hour. Depending on how soft my meat is. Okay? Because I want it very soft. I'm going to cover it and let it cook. Now, it's done. So... I'm just going to set it aside, cut it into smaller sizes, chewable sizes. For my pepper, uh, I use some red bell, some scotch bonnet and onions. And of course, we'll be using some spinach. Okay, I already washed it. I'm just going to cut it or chop it. <laughs> yes. So, some palm oil in the pot and add some onions. This is some locust beans, also known as iru. You can skip this. It's just for the flavor. If you know, you know. <laughs> so, I'm going to fry for about 10 minutes before adding the pepper. Here, I added the pepper and I'm adding some seasoning. I'm going to allow this to cook for about 20 minutes before adding the meat and the fish. Now, I'm going to add the meat and fish. First, I added the uh, fish. And next, I'm going to add the meat. I'll mix it all together. And I'm going to allow it to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. Until I see the oil. Okay? When I see the oil, that is when I know it's done. Before adding the spinach. Okay? Now you can see the oil. That means it's done. Okay? And all you have to do here is to just add the spinach and that's it. And for the spinach, it's just going to cook for about, you know, three minutes maximum. Because you don't want your spinach to be so too soft. And here it's ready. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. To all my subscribers, I say a big thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.